Hello everyone, I'm Adam Cram. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. Energized by a Mayak indoor title, the St. Thomas women's track and field team began the outdoor season this Sunday at Hamlin. Senior Emily Gapinski leads the way after winning two NCAA indoor titles. Junior Olivia Graham showed her range at the Hamlin Invitational this past weekend with top 10 finishes in discus, hammer, and javelin throw. I'm joined today by Coach Joe Sweeney, long distance runner Emily Gapinski, and field athlete Olivia Graham. Thanks for joining us, guys. Great to be here. <laughs> so, Coach, how does the day to day training change in this transition to outdoor season? Well, the biggest thing is just the weather, just uh, day to day, just uh, you know, looking at the elements and being in or out. I mean, and it's great when we get a, a, a stretch of, uh, of, of five, six days where we can be outside, but we just have to kind of, kind of go with the flow. And uh, it's just nice. It is nice to be outside versus inside, just to have uh, the, the, the fresh air to breathe and, and, uh, and, and for the long throwers to be able to not throw into a curtain, actually throw, throw along, a long way. So, uh, so it's nice that way. Yeah. So this kind of leads into my question for Emily. Mm -hmm. In the past, have you seen indoor success carry over to outdoor, and how does the weather factor into that? Yeah, I think our training for indoor really does carry over to outdoor season. Uh, we put in a lot of hard months of training for the indoor season, so that really gives us a lot of momentum going into the outdoor season. And as for the weather being in Minnesota, it sometimes does affect our training plans. For example, this past week we had to do some of our workouts inside uh, because of the rain, the wind. But um, once it comes to meets, we just try to handle it with uh, handle it the best we can because I mean everyone has to deal with elements. So yeah, Minnesota weather is very. Unpredictable. Exactly. And then Olivia, what are the keys to having success in multiple throwing events when the motions for each are so different? Yeah, um, I think it's uh, very versatile to be able to do them all and I use different muscles and groups for everything so it's kind of fun to go from one event to the other and I can just feel different muscles working and I think they play a role in helping the other events go better. All right, and then for coach, Coach Sweeney, how do you find, how does your role as a coach evolve from the beginning of indoor season through the end of the outdoor season? Well, you have to kind of pace yourself, uh, especially since I've been doing it for 36 years. But uh, I, think, I think that uh, always with the, with, for me, it's managing everything, but also managing the athletes and, uh, and just making sure that, that no one is, is overwhelmed. And, and uh, I think it helps having, a, having a, the spring break and having just a little, having a few weeks between indoor and outdoor. It helps, um, helps the athletes just, uh, just to get a little break if they can get away, find some warm weather. I think that's really good and uh, it helps the coaches as well because it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a long haul and uh, it's, uh, it, perseverance play, plays a role in it, but I think the athletes are, uh, are you know, they, they really sense that, that uh, it's, it's momentum and we build it going into the indoor and then we take a break and then we build it up again going into the outdoor and uh, we just want things to end on a positive note when it's all said and done. Yeah. We'll be right back after this short message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Emily and Olivia, sophomore Steve Harrell wants to know, when did you join track and why did you decide to? We can start with Emily. Um, I joined track my freshman year of high school. I was a swimmer my whole life, so it was kind of just like a transition, like cross train for the swim season. And I didn't really end up getting that into track until like coming to St. Thomas. So, yeah. How about you, Olivia? Um, I joined track in high school as well, but when I got to St. Thomas, I actually emailed Coach Sweeney, and I was really interested in joining the track team because I missed the aspect of sports and team sports, and I'm very glad I joined track here. And how about you, Coach Sweeney? When and why did you decide to join track? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know, I tried other sports, and I wasn't, wasn't doing great, so uh, <laughs> I was always really driven and really wanted to work hard at something that, that I could be good at, and I think that was probably in high school. It just, uh, it just kind of fell into it. My, my sophomore year of high school started out. And, uh, and just, just, just got into it and enjoyed the coaching aspect of it, and, um, and it's, been, it's been great. Definitely found something to work for. Yeah. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. With Coach Joe Sweeney, Emily Gapinski, and Olivia Graham, I'm Adam Craig. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.